The sponsor of today's video is PCBWay. If you have any projects that you want to get done and or assembled, then PCBWay is going to be a great choice. I've been using them for the past couple years and by far one of the best services I've used, whether you're a hobbyist and or professional alike. So definitely check the links down below. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So many of you have probably noticed I haven't been uploading recently much. And the reason for that is because uh, reviews have just been eating my brain and, and I feel like I'm just getting stupider, honestly. So I've just been coding in the background and, and coming up with ideas that I want to share with you guys. So recently, if you've been watching my channel, I've released an app called IoT Push. And the main idea of that app, which you guys don't know about, is to enable you to control just about anything from anywhere. So the idea here right now is we'll be able to create projects that are actually useful with a full-fledged system that will allow you to take full advantage of whatever the hell you have in your mind. And in the upcoming tutorials, I'll be teaching you from the basics to the most advanced to enable you to control anything from anywhere. And that is the idea of where I want to take this channel. We're going to do drone stuff, basically projects like useful projects with drones with we're still going to do the FPV stuff, some of the reviews also. But I'll be actually showing you how to take cheap stuff and actually make useful stuff that you could probably get for four or five hundred bucks for, for absolutely no money at all. This is less than fifty dollars. And the most expensive thing is this uh, tank here. So let me show you how this actually works. So currently this will connect to my Wi-Fi and I'll be able to control it from anywhere in the world. Um, and that's what I'll be able to enable you to do, even with live video feed, FPV projects and just about anything you could think of. And whatever you have in mind and you would like to see done, let me know down in the comment section. So let me show you how this actually works here. And I'll be showing you how to build this thing. It doesn't even cost much money. This is two dollars and fifty cents for this board. This is like three dollars and the battery is like, I don't know, five bucks, maybe a 2S battery. And the most expensive thing would be the tank here, which you could use any other tank you want on the market to do the same exact thing, really. And I'll be showing you how to do that in the next video. And, and we'll be doing a lot more stuff, even adding LiDAR and stuff. So let me show you how this actually works. So I just plug this in and um, it's, it's very, uh, the, the system I've designed to enable you to do all this, I've made it so simple that anybody could quickly get the grasp of and then you could modify it and made it so modular, but in a simple way that you'll be able to do just about anything your heart desires. That was the whole idea of, of, of this whole system because I love coding from, from the microcontroller all the way up to the server down to the applications. So right now I've just connected it and uh, I bet you it's already connected on my Wi-Fi. So next thing what we're going to do is we're going to open IoT Push. Now this this page is not available yet on IoT Push app because uh, this is just a prototyping page for myself. Uh, so what's going on here? So as you can tell, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi nor Bluetooth. So I'm on my 4G network and this is connected to my studio's, uh, studio's router here. And let me actually go ahead and connect here. There we go. I just have to connect because uh, it was in the background. It disconnects automatically. You can see how quick that is. And I could even optimize the latency, which is insane. And the thing is, this opens up the possibility to control switches, to get live video feed or live data back and enable you to even control stuff as we're doing right now. So it, it's just so crazy and so modular. And what's really cool is, is, is we're going to be able to do all this in Python, which is crazy, even the microcontroller unit. And I'll be doing examples and teaching you how to use Python um, because MicroPython has been maturing to an extent which is pretty just insane. Uh, you'll be able to do and prototype so much quicker now that it's just it's just gorgeous. However, first of all, I will be releasing the tutorial for this in the upcoming days, how to build it. And um, it's actually much easier than a quadcopter and programming is much easier than a quadcopter uh, because you don't have to deal with PID controller and all these things and it'll just work as long as you don't fry. Even if you fry, it's like three bucks, not 50 or 100 bucks here. And again, we'll be slowly stepping our way up into quadcopters with these and enable you to make useful stuff that checks your house, LIDARs, whatever, even incorporate some AI stuff, not AI stuff that tells you if it's a dog or a cat, no, real useful AI stuff. And um, that's the idea and that's the plan. And this is what I love doing. And I want to go back to what I love doing and also sharing it with you guys. So I really hope you guys would appreciate it and also like this content that's going to be upcoming. And I really look forward to hearing your comments and your ideas down below. And if you guys also can support this channel because I'm taking a completely different route, which I'll need all the support I could possibly get, that would be super great. And well, that's really it, guys. So my Patreon is linked down below. If you could check that out, a really support channel. And everything here is linked down below. Obviously, the links are all affiliated. That's how I survive. And if you could check those out, those greatly support the channel. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know your thoughts because those are very important to me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.